let me give you some insight on how I make my product photos. First, you're gonna need a product, so walk into the store. This could be anything. I took a look at some shoes, I took a look at some cologne, and then I decided on this pocket knife. So if you haven't done this already, the next step is to gain inspiration and design a concept. So if you really need help with this step, I suggest just going to Google and looking up what you're trying to accomplish. Looking at these product photos, there's already some good inspiration here with using vegetation as sort of an accent piece in a background, and then this theme that I'm going to try to stick with of matching the background textures to the textures on the knife. I'm also going to try to play with the shadows in the background, so I'm getting black construction paper. Never overpay for this stuff. If you only need a little bit, go to the dollar store. Bonus tip, while you're there, pick up a couple of these foam trifolds. They bounce your light, and they stand up by themselves. So now we're going to find some props to help build up the scene. And remember, our concept is matching textures. So things like this salt jar, maybe this mixing bowl set with bamboo lids. There was actually a lot to pick from, but let me show you what I walked out with. I have this artificial window plant, a textured glass jar with a bamboo lid, and this 100% bamboo lunchbox. So that was fun. We have our subject, we have some props to help build out the scene, and we have something that I'm going to use as a backdrop. So you already have a basic idea of your composition and you just want to add something to make your photo pop. I'm a big fan of making products float in their photos, so I had this idea a while ago, just getting some skewers, stabbing it into whatever plant, fake or real you have, and then balancing your product on top of it. Perfect floating item. Let's start shooting. I went with a 42.5, which would be equivalent to an 85 on a full frame camera. This is my favorite part, just playing around with the camera angles and the lighting setup, seeing what I like and what I don't like, and then eventually coming out with something like this. And when I kept playing with the lighting and props, I got a few more photos out of it. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching the video. I'm actually recording the end of it right now onto the timeline, and then it'll be up on YouTube. My first video on this channel, but the first of many. So subscribe to the channel. I'll be dropping more videos like this that'll show the ins and outs of creating. I feel like there are a lot of tutorials out there that give you the concept, but don't actually walk you through the steps, and some people need their hand held through the steps like me. So have a wonderful day, keep creating, and I will see you next week.